Welcome back to The Last of Us, my friends. This is part 4 of my walkthrough, which is being played on uh, the grounded difficulty. And it's a no damage walkthrough, uh, where I obtain all the collectibles. So, if you're looking for a, a complete guide for this game, then feel free to follow this walkthrough. At this point in the game, Joel and Tess are following Marlene. Um, in ex uh, she wants us to. She wants them to smuggle something out of town. We don't know what yet. Uh, and in exchange, I guess they'll get a ton of weapons. Not of many fireflies left, I guess. In this point, all that we need to do is follow Marlene. Things will get a little bit more complicated in a little bit, but for now we're good. Been planning on leaving the city, but they need a scapegoat. They've been trying to rile us up. Joel, give me a hand with this. Okay, here we'll have our first encounter with soldiers. Hold up. Soldiers. That's the way out. The door into the bridge. I ain't a big fan of these odds. We can sneak by them, even though I know that's not your style. We'll see how it goes. Let's get moving. Nope, my style style personally is choking them out and taking and getting rid of them. We need to get to that door. You don't really need to worry about this one because uh, Marlene will take care of the soldier standing right in front of him. However, I do recommend that you drag him inside, otherwise uh, one of the other soldiers might see the body and come and inspect. So drag him in and you should be good. If I wasn't playing on ground of difficulty there would be a pair of scissors uh, in that shelf over there, but I guess I have no luck. Let's take care of this one now. Again, drag him inside uh, behind this structure right here. Otherwise, uh, one of the other soldiers might see him. And now what we're going to do is cause some noise to lure in the other soldiers. Uh, eventually the soldier that you see standing right in front of me he does move to this location and you can catch him then but it might take him a while to start moving so I recommend that you cause some noise instead because I want to catch their attention not that you need to kill them necessarily to advance but I always feel better by disposing of all of them before moving on. Okay, let's see if I can catch him. A little bit more to the side and the other guy would have seen me, but we're good. And now let me catch that other guy's attention. And I'll sneak up behind him when he moves forward. Really in this part the... Uh, Enemies that you encounter aren't 
that big in numbers. By the time you arrive to Pittsburgh, that's when things get a little bit more complicated because there's a ton of them and it gets really hard. But at this point, we're good. Not bad. Only one more. Let's see. Hit him with a brick, and I'll make a run for it. Oh damn, that was intense. There's an optional conversation that you can have by the, the dead fireflies bodies with Marlene. I think you need to leave one of the soldiers alive before you can talk with her, but it doesn't count towards the trophy for the optional conversation, so you might as well ignore it. Let's move on to the next area. Going, Merlene. This way. It's not far now. How are you holding up? I'm running on fumes. I'll make it. Fortunately, we can't run in this section. The place is right up ahead. Attention. Curfew is now in full effect. Anyone caught outside without proper authorization will be arrested and prosecuted. The hell are we smuggling? I'll show you. Attention. Curfew is now in full effect. Anyone caught outside without proper authorization will be arrested and prosecuted. Let's check that cargo out. Joel, give me a hand with this. Whoa. Come on now. Get on up. The fuck away from me! Hey. Let her go. Well, you're recruiting kind of young, aren't you? She's not one of mine. Oh, shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. Double what Robert sold me. Speaking of which, where are they? Back in our camp. <laughs> we're not smuggling shit until I see them. You'll follow me. You can verify the weapons. I can get patched up. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Whoa, whoa, I don't Bullshit, think that's the I'm best Ellie. Him? How do you know them? I was close with his brother, Tommy. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. He was a good man. I could just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. It's just cargo, Joel. Marlene. No more talking. You'll be fine. Now go with him. Don't take long. And you, stay close. Let's go. Hey, you could put some salt in your wound. Okay. So we've got our new teammate, Ellie. They're Let's pick shooting. up the first collectible in this section. What Firefly pendant. Fireflies. Same thing's gonna happen to us if we don't get off the street. You're the pro. I'm just following you. Uh, in this section we've got nothing to worry about. It's pretty much straightforward. Just gotta get Ellie inside an apartment.
Down here. We'll keep up. Almost in the clear. Where we go? Up there. That'll get us to the north tunnel. How are we supposed to reach that? Just give me a minute. deal with you and Marlene anyways I don't know she's my friend I guess your friend huh? you're friends with the leader of the fireflies what are you like 12 she knew my mom and she's been looking after me and I'm 14 not that that has anything to do with anything so where are your parents <sighs> where are anyone's parents they've been gone a long long time so instead of just staying in school you decide to run up and join the Fireflies, is that it? Look, I'm not supposed to tell you why you're smuggling me, if that's what you're getting at. You wanna know the best thing about my job? I don't gotta know why. To be honest with you, I give two shits what you're up to. Well, great. Good. Let's get inside. For another long cutscene. Is it? What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I am sure you will figure that out. Your watch is broken. You mumble in your sleep. I hate bad dreams. Yeah, me too. You know, I've never been this close to the outside. I mean, look how dark it is. Can't be any worse out there. Can it? What on earth do the fireflies want with you? Hey. Sorry it took so long. Soldiers fucking everywhere. How's Merlene? She'll make it. I saw the merchandise. It's a lot. Wanna do this? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, time to start the next section. Uh, first of all, let's get the second collectible in this area. So this would be collectible uh, number 10, I believe. Tessa's list. Uh, that seems like a lot of cargo to me. I guess she doesn't like sardines, well she couldn't come here then. Though she's probably having the canned sardines, so that's probably not good. I don't know why Marley, uh, why Tess is complaining, it seems like a pretty big uh, amount of stuff. Well, especially in an apocalyptic world, but oh well. What do I know? And now we're going to listen to an optional conversation. This does count for the trophy. I think it's a bit strange that they're having us do their smuggling. Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice. 
Or the second, for that matter. She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. Let's just hope there's someone alive to pay us. Someone will be around. And we'll uh, obtain the third collectible in this area soon. Down we go. Who's waiting for us at the drop off? She said there's some fireflies that have traveled all the way from another city. The girl must be important. What is the deal with you? You some big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. How long is this all gonna take? Let's get the third Everything collectible, plan, which is a map. To them in a few hours. Ellie, once we get out there, I need you to follow our lead and stay close. Yeah. Of course. Climb up and check if the coast is clear. Now hold up. There's a patrol up ahead. All right, we're good. Come on up. Come on, kid. Watch your step. It's raining. Can't do this any good. Holy shit! I'm actually outside. Okay, now we just have to go forward. Doesn't seem like the smartest idea to go directly through the path that the soldiers went through, but oh well, what do I know? I ain't a smuggler. Don't do anything stupid. Move. Turn around, on your knees. You scan them, I'll call it in. Put your hands on your head. This is Ramirez at Sector 12, requesting pickup for three stragglers. Understood. Look the other way. We can make this worth your while. Shut up. Tired of shit. Mm-hmm. What's ETA? Couple minutes. Cold blooded. Fuck. I thought we were just gonna hold him up or something. Oh shit. Look. Jesus Christ. Marlene set us up? Why the hell are we smuggling an infected girl? I'm not infected. No? Was this lying? I can explain. You better explain fast. Look at this. I don't care how you got infected. It's three weeks old. No, everyone turns within two days, so you stop bullshitting. It's three weeks. I swear. Why would she set you up? I ain't buying it. Go! Go! Move! Okay, so in this section, uh, in this first area, all that you need to do is run further as fast as you can. Don't worry about uh, covering yourself, like I said, just run. And you'll be fine. If you wait too long, however, you can be spotted, I believe. Don't worry about Tess and Ellie because 
uh, the enemy's AI can't see them, so you don't need to worry. This is the only section you need to be a little bit careful. Just stay back. Stay down to let see. So wait for the soldier to have his lights turned towards the other way, and then when he turns it back through this side, go ahead. And you'll be in the clear. Go back here. I'm look up ahead. So far so good. There's one more soldier. You need to be careful. Wait for the soldier to go away. Fuck it. Let the clickers get him. And now you're good to go. So it's not that complicated really. And we're in the clear. Rather, we're in the clear for now. Come on, come on, Ellie. Okay, in this section is pretty much like the first one. Don't bother waiting for the soldiers to come forward. Instead, run forward as fast as you can, and you can avoid most of them. You can escape escape to the exit of this area without uh, having to face a single soldier. Let's wait for him to turn around, there we go. If you want you can always throw a brick or a bottle to the corner to to catch their attention, but at this point you're good to go, so you have nothing to worry about. Okay, now you can start running normally. They won't follow you. Are they gonna follow us down here? We ain't sticking around to find out. It was too damn close to this. Better be worth it, kid. Yeah. Let's see where this leads. Uh, there's a few items to pick up here, further ahead. This looks right. Stay close. At least we're out of the rain. Charlie Squad, report! Sh shit, shit. I got more soldiers. Target's still on the loose, sir. Break off pursuit and report back to Sector 11. I don't think they see us. Acknowledge. Get to your vehicle. Stay in the shadows. <laughs> we're good to go now. Are we safe? No. They're still around. But take a moment to catch your breath. There we go. Pair of scissors. Don't That's always nice. We can use in here. Sure thing, boss. Let's get out of here. Tess, up through here through this pipe. I think we can make it through here. Stay very close, Sally. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Gather up. I'm calling us back. We're returning to the wall. You heard the man. Load on up. Let's go, let's go. Come on. And that's going to do it for this session my friends, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later for the next part.
All right, there you go. Look, what was the plan? Let's say that we deliver you to the Fireflies. What then? Marlene's, she said that they have their own little quarantine zone with doctors they're still trying to find a cure. Yeah, we've heard that before, huh, Tess? And that whatever happened to me is the key to finding a vaccine. Oh, Jesus. It's what she said. Oh, I'm sure she did. Hey, fuck you, man. I didn't ask for this. Me neither. Tess, what the hell are we doing here? What if it's true? I can't... What if, Joel? I mean, we've come this far. Let's just finish it. Do I need to remind you what is out there? I get it. 